Hey y'all, this your girl Rika Empress and Yasta back in the building. So there will be a love reading or a regular reading, whatever you get from the reading. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and it will be from June the 1st to June the 8th. We're going to see what's going on with your overall energy. You know Mercury and retrograde, so you're going to see a lot of past. Well, it hasn't fully hit retrograde, but it's almost there. You're going to see a lot of past things coming to light, and that's... um due to some old cycles that need to be closed completely or cycles that need to be reopened we're gonna see all right spirit this is for taurus sun moon rising and venus all right you got heartache and loss you have rest and rejuvenation you got heart chakra and you got solar chakra so i feel like there was some heartache going on in your situation this is from the past. You that that is the three of swords, and is that so? You did have some heartbreak going on, but I see that you are healing, and what you are healing so is your heart chakra and your sacral chakra. I feel like something is coming back for us. We're gonna see exactly what's going on, and that's four cards. So there was some yeah. So your heart was broken, but you are now healing. You got 3434. Three, four. I'm going to let you know that right away. So you might want to look up that number. You might want to play it for the lottery. You never know. But you definitely got 34 four, and then 43. All right. All right, Spirit. Did you clarify how they can lose? Death. You have the death card. You could be connected with a Scorpio. I have Scorpio in your chart. All right. So there was a major ending in your life. Or there will be a major ending. I feel like this is what this death card is about to. Uh, I feel like I feel like whatever happened, it has something to do with this heartache and this loss. But whatever is going on has to do with something. It's a major ending in your life. You had the death card, the three of swords, and the four of swords. So this is a major ending. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio. Um, I feel like this ending. Um. It was a major breakup, and it hurt you. It hurt you in ways that you couldn't imagine. And I definitely feel like uh, you took the time to actually heal from this situation. Because you go from the death, then you go from the three to the four sword. So this was some heartbreak that you definitely had to heal from. Let's see what this rest and rejuvenate is about. Rest and rejuvenate. You got the two of swords. All right. You got the two of swords. You got the Knight of Wands and you got the Eight of Wands. Something about to happen maybe with this Rest and Rejuvenate. I feel like you could have been connected with a Scorpio and this person broke your heart. Or it just could, you could have been dealing with an air sign and this person broke your heart. But with this Two of Swords energy, somebody knows they need to make a choice. I feel like somebody's trying to heal the situation. Because they want to rush right in. It's like some passion. They want to rush right in. And they actually want to talk to you. It's something. It's some type of passionate communication. They're trying to figure out exactly how to do that. To be honest with you. But it's two of swords energy. Uh, they're trying to restore some things. Definitely. Let's see what's going on with this heart chakra. Nine of swords. Ten of cups. Seven of Swords. Um, I feel like this person got a lot of shit going on with them. With this Nine of Swords, I don't feel like this is your energy. I actually feel like this is the energy of the person that actually wants to connect with you. So this is what's going on with the Three of Swords and the Four of Swords. There was some type of breakup or some type of heartbreak in the situation. But with that Four and then you got the Four, um, which is the Heart Chakra and the Three, which is the Solar Plex. I feel like somebody's trying to heal this situation. The sacra, the solar plexus chakra is about, um, I believe it's about what you want. I believe it's about what you want. And I feel like with this heart, with the heart chakra, you got the nine of swords, the ten of cups, and the seven of swords. There's a lot of stress and anxiety going on in this situation. Somebody is stressed the fuck out. It, they could be stressed out or they could be worried about some type of happiness with somebody that's sneaky. But I feel like some with the Seven of Swords energy, I feel like this is somebody that is stressed the fuck, the fuck out due to some type of happiness that they're looking back at. 
Look at, it's not always about what the card means. Sometimes it's what you feel. This person is scratched the fuck out because you're happy and they're looking right back at you. I don't know why, but I feel like that. I, I definitely feel the energy of with this heart chakra. This person, yeah. This person, oh, shit now. <laughs> okay. I'm seeing what's going on. Yeah, they're trying to restore this love. And with that solar prolet chakra, um, that also controls sex. Yeah, this person is very turned on by you with the solar plex being here, too. This is overall energy for the solar plex spirit. Can I get some clarifications? You got the center pentacles. Yeah, this is what they want. The five of wands. And the two of wands. Uh... You could have been in a higher level commitment with this person, or you can't be in a higher level commitment with this person. But I feel like this is what they want. And I feel like they got a lot of... This is actually yours with the sacra. Um, You're coming out as a ten of pentacles, somebody stable. You got your shit together, but you got some type of past conflict going on, past challenges in a situation. And it's probably about some choices that you need to make. This is your energy with that Ten of Pentacles energy. I don't feel any other energy but that with the sacral. And I feel like um, whatever is going on, there are some type of past challenges or some conflict or competition. And you need to make a choice. That's what's going on. I told you somebody's trying to restore some shit. Let's see what's going on. I want to see what the overall energy for this situation is with my island time will is that some stuff is going on. Somebody broke your heart, and now they want to got now come in and try and fix the situation. Due to them seeing you happy with this heart chakra, they know they love you. It's they are over. They probably been up all night about some happiness they be looking back at. With the nine to the seven, I feel like this is self sabotage though. I feel like they did this seduction, attraction, flirting, third party. Yup, yup. That's what's going on. With that's that's what I mean. That's exactly what I mean. Something is going on. I told you I feel it. Like this person is very attracted to you. You got lightness, sudden change, shocking news. You got uh whatever it was, you got seduction, that's attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party, interference. Then you got sudden change, shocking news, uprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Do you have unconditional love and giving and receiving love, falling in love? Do you have acts, break up, separation, start the palate, silent treatment? Do you got, I like you. Uh, someone likes you. Yeah, this is weird. Um, There was some type of third party situation going on. Possibly it could have been a karmic relationship. Or you could have just been hooking up with this person. But I feel like whatever happened with this situation, it was some type of shocking news. That this person really like you. And they're ready to stop playing these type of games. They're ready to stop the silent treatment. Because it's like kisses, unconditional love, receiving love, giving love, acts. Break up the separation. I like you. Yeah. Whatever happened, it, it, it was some type of unexpected change. And I feel like... uh I feel like somebody stopped something. I feel like somebody cut something off. Yeah. This person realized how much they care about you ever since you cut off uh, liking them. Ask, and then I like you. You cut this person off, and then all of a sudden, they want you. This person hurt your goddamn feelings. You got the three, the three of swords, and the four of swords. You got a major, major ending going on. This is past. This is a major ending. With the death card. But, uh... And you got the three of swords twice, so this definitely was a breakup. And it could have been some type of third party. But I, I feel like it's more than that. Then you got, oh, there we go. The golden mirror, one-sided narcissist. That's your energy. You probably was really attracted to this person or in the third party. And if something happened, there was some type of upheaval in the situation, which I think their breakup was or somebody hurt your goddamn feelings. And I don't know. It's, um, hold on, y'all. Sorry, y'all. That was my cat. You got the golden mirror in a uh, karmic relationship. Okay. Okay. I see what's going on. Something happened. Something happened. This is probably a narcissist. Dragonfly being lighthearted. Things coming to light. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Uh huh. About okay. So this is what's going on. You were in a third party relationship with this person, and some shocking news came, or it could have been some type of change, change or transformation to you loving this person due to you having to cut this person off. You cut off your feelings for this person. Uh, the person that you were dealing with were, was a narcissist. You got self-absorbed narcissist and one-sided love bombing. Uh, they definitely was a karmic relationship. They were here to teach you a lesson. I feel like whatever it was, they were in a karmic relationship and some things are, came to light about them actually being married or in a long-term commitment. That's what the fuck is going on. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Heart and sacral chakra, yeah. And you know what this Ten of Pentacles, this Five of Wands, and this Two of Wands is? Whatever higher level commitment they in, they have a lot of conflict and competition in it. And I feel like they are mad about the choice they made. They made the wrong choice. What is the overall energy for my Taurus and the person they connected with? Okay, you got trust the situation is calling for you to have faith it is safe for you to open up open up your heart and give receive the highest energy it's safe for you to love you got uh stay optimistic it came out in reverse anything else you got romantic feelings pay attention to the red flags absolutely um, there was a situation where you actually were trusting and you actually opened up your heart to this person. But for some reason, whatever happened, it was like some things that came to light. And uh, you're no longer optimistic about the feelings that you have for this person due to you paying attention to the red flags. Uh, that's basically what's going on. You let this person go and now they're mad. Then you got this could be the one. Give your relationship a chance. Express your love. Worth waiting for. Now, <clears throat> now this person wants you. Back then, they didn't want you. Now, you're hot. They all on you. They feel like you could be the one now. They want to get this relationship a chance. And they really want to say something to you. But they being patient. They waiting for the right time. They waiting for the right opportunity to say something to you. That's all that is. Um, You were dealing with an arc. And they got their karma. Simple as that. All right, y'all. Um, Use your power to serve. Don't deal with this person. That's all it was. You was in a, you were very attracted to each other, but that's all it was. And now that this person is getting their just rewards, especially with this Ten of Pentacles and this Five of Wands, they are in a higher level commitment, possibly a family. And they have a lot of challenges due to some type of choices that they need to make or the decisions that they did make. Somebody needed to make a choice. And they made a choice. And it's now, boom, blowing up in their goddamn face. Oh, well. Y'all have a good day.